and thank you for joining us at AWS Summit Online. My name is Shweta and I am Ed Services Sales Specialist here at AWS. You are with us for session, How Ed Services Help Customers Deliver Live Streaming Events at Scale. This is a level 200 session and is perfect for those who are looking forward to successfully serving a live streaming event at scale with AWS. I am joined by Julian Ju, Senior Ed Specialist, Solution Architect. AWS is the preferred cloud provider for media and entertainment, driving transformation for content creators, rights holders, producers, broadcasters, and distributors, because we have the most comprehensive set of industry-specific services, solutions, partners, and marquee customer references of any cloud. Today, we will be doing an overview of large-scale events and talk about a few challenges they face with the evolved landscapes. Our focus will lie on some solutions and how we are able to deliver peak events for our esteemed customers at AWS. The first live stream is generally thought to have occurred on June 24, 1993 from Palo Alto. It took a set of engineers, a building's patio, and a multicast backbone to stream audio and video. It was watched as far as Australia. The live stream landscape has changed ever since, and so have its challenges. It has to do with reach. Mobile devices are now available to everyone, be it the young ones or the oldest ones at home. Everyone is equipped with connectivity, be it using a Wi-Fi or in transit using cellular. Making sure everyone enjoys the live stream experience and comes back for more is one such challenge. Talking about scale, the Super Bowls, FIFA, Olympics, Indian Premier League cricket have shown us groundbreaking numbers of concurrency platform can achieve. These workloads need to be scaled up within seconds to meet the flash traffic peaks. Redundant infrastructure is needed to ensure live streams always play. Live streams cannot stop. To keep live streams always playing, we require huge scalable infrastructure, network bandwidths to be able to support the spikes, redundant infrastructure available to be brought up right at the instant it's needed. With all this, managing cost is another challenge. Having an important live event running needs to ensure all the clients are accounted for. To allow every end user to be able to view this content, we need to ensure its delivery over multiple platforms, devices, applications, and load tests, corner cases. No stone can be left unturned no error can go unattended. Let's try to focus on a few of these areas in today's session. On that note, please allow me to welcome Julian Chu. Thank you, Suera. Hi, my name is Julian, and I'm an Edge Services Specialist Solution Architect here in AWS. Before going into the detail about how the AWS services can help you with the challenges we have seen together, I'd like to open up a bigger picture first. There are many different types of media and entertainment business, and we see five priority solution areas commonly identified by customers. First, content production. Second, media supply chain and archive. Third, broadcast, which we are talking in this session. Fourth, direct-to-consumer or D2C and streaming, and FIPS, data science and analytics. AWS for m and &E provides unmatched industry-specific capabilities in all of these areas. AWS for m and &E Alliance, AWS Media Services, AWS Solutions, and other AWS service categories into one story about how m and &E customers can achieve business outcomes across each of these five areas. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into the broadcast architecture. This architecture diagram describes how you can build the live broadcasting with AWS services. You can quickly spin up this implementation into your AWS account by visiting AWS Solutions website. AWS Elemental Media Live is a managed service that can ingest the live source and transcode into multiple bit rates. AWS Elemental Media Package does just-in-time packaging into HLS, 
Dash, MSS, and CMAP format. Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network service that will deliver the streaming to the thousands of viewers in multiple OTT devices. All of these services play important role in the broadcast. Let's now move into the delivery parts where the challenges of live broadcast that Sweta reviewed earlier in this session lies. CloudFront CDN does a crucial role for the media delivery by taking care of scale, offloading the streaming origin, and performance of viewer. Basically, what CloudFront does is it receives the streaming contents from the media origin, store it into the cache, and deliver to the viewers. Imagine that you're broadcasting a live event to thousands of concurrent viewers. If it was a TV broadcasting, TV signal would be sent to every TV from one broadcast center, as you see in this slide. But streaming over internet is different from TV broadcasting because each viewer will need to download the stream separately. It means the more viewer you have, the more bandwidth and processing you require. For example, if you have 10,000 concurrent viewers with 720p quality, you need more than 50 gigabps bandwidth. If the number of viewers suddenly become double, bandwidth required also doubles to 100 gigabps in very short period. CloudFront is designed to handle this scaling scenario perfectly. In addition to handle the scale, CloudFront also helps offloading the media origin since it cached the contents to serve it to the viewer. CloudFront also improved performance by serving the contents in the nearest edge locations to the viewer. CloudFront has more than 310 point of presence all over the world. We call these point of presence as edge locations. The edge locations have private peering connection with thousands of tier one to three telecom carriers and well connected with all major access networks for optimal performance. CloudFront edge locations are connected to the AWS regions through the AWS network backbone, fully redundant, multiple hundred gigabit Ethernet parallel fiber that circles the globe, which provides low latency and high bandwidth. For example, imagine that you have media service running on Singapore region and viewers in Malaysia. Viewers will be routed to Kuala Lumpur edge location for faster delivery and data transmission between the edge location and the origin is entirely within the AWS network backbone. There are multiple cloud front edge locations in ASEAN region, and AWS is continuously investing more to deliver better user experience. Singapore has the largest number of edge locations in the region, which is six, and Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines has the edge locations. And I'm excited to see that there will be new edge location launch in Vietnam in this year too. When you look whole Asia Pacific, there are a total 78 edge locations covering 12 countries. All of these edge locations helps the streaming to be delivered fast, steady, and in high quality. CloudFront goes one step further to reduce latency and protect the origin from the flash crowd. CloudFront maximizes the caching by placing multiple cache layers in the service. This cache layer is called as regional edge cache. These regional edge caches are built on the AWS regional infrastructure and has even bigger cache storage. When a viewer starts a new streaming play, the one of the edge locations will serve the content to the viewer and it will be cached both the edge location and its regional edge cache. Now, if another viewer starts playing the same stream from adjacent edge location, the streaming will be served from the regional edge cache, not from the origin. Customers can turn on the feature called origin shield, which makes one of the regional edge cache to be third layer, which will enhance the cache hit rate even more. Now, let's change our focus to the second challenge, optimizing cost. I think you already know that Whenever you transfer data out from the AWS, it incurs a cost called as data transfer out. This is true to the contents origin service like AWS Elemental Media Package and Media Store. However, when you use CloudFront, 
to deliver those data, data transfer from AWS to CloudFront is free of charge. Sometimes it is considered to be one of the biggest benefits that you can get from CloudFront. Some customers use more than one CDN to deliver the events with various reasons. It could offer certain advantages, but it also means that your origin might receive many duplicate requests for the same content, each coming from different CDNs or different locations within the same CDN. Here is a simplified architecture of the using two CDNs with media package origin. In this architecture, CloudFront and the other CDN will reach the media package separately. And as a result, media package will run packaging each time it receives the request from both CloudFront and the other CDN. Thus, these redundant requests can cause additional operation cost of just-in-time packaging and data transfer out. Alternatively, customer can use CloudFront as the origin of the other CDN. In this case, CloudFront will deliver the streaming both to viewers and downstream CDN. And with the origin shield, you can expect origin load will be minimized. In other words, no data transfer out cost will be incurred and number of just-in-time packaging will be reduced to minimum. If you are interested in using origin shield in a multi-CDN architecture and already have discounted pricing, you may want to check with your AWS sales representatives. Finally, I would like to talk a little bit about the edge computing options on the CloudFront. Imagine that you can change the behavior of CloudFront with your own code. You can change the HTTP response, selectively route the, to alternative origin, implement authorization at edge, and many more. CloudFront offers two types of edge computing, Lambda Edge and CloudFront functions. Lambda Edge utilizes AWS Lambda infrastructure and is ideal for longer and complex logics. You can even call other AWS services or endpoint over the network with the Lambda Edge to make the decision. CloudFront functions are ideal for high scale and ultra low latency requirement. CloudFront functions runs under a millisecond and can read and modify the request or response headers and URIs. It can be used to increase cache hit ratio by normalizing cache key or validate the request with authorization token validation. I'd like to show some example that I worked with an ME customer. It was a streaming service to mobile users and customer found there was a small number of clients who were facing 404 not found error when they start playing streaming. Upon reviewing the logs, we found that request URIs are generated by the client based on its local clock, and the clock in those clients are slightly ahead of the server's clock. Thus, they were requesting non-existing URIs. This is not something you can solve from the origin. And we discussed how we can solve and came up with this implementation. As you can see, when origin returns 404 not found, CloudFront will trigger Lambda Edge function, and the Lambda Edge function will wait for 0.5 seconds and retry the same URL. This solves the problem without changing any configuration from origin or client. We have seen the AWS Edge services for ME and how you can use Edge services to tackle the challenges of large scales, unpredictable costs, and corner cases. Now, Shweta will continue with another important service that you can expect from AWS, the infrastructure event management. Over to you, Shweta. Prior to joining the Edge Services sales team, I had been working as a senior technical account manager at AWS and worked over several IEMs for my customers. What is IEM or infrastructure event management? IEM offers architectural, scaling guidance and operational support for your planned events. Planned events can be live streaming events, migrations, launches, press releases, anything that are scale or business driven. IEM is available for enterprise support customers and extended 
to business customers at an additional fee. If you are planning for high profile or high traffic load, reach out to AWS to find out more about how we help you confidently deliver peak events using IEM. Let's talk about timelines. In the first phase of initiation, we work very closely with you to understand your success criteria or business outcome. Say you are preparing for a very important sporting event. Your business outcome is to ensure that highly watched matches, content, viewed without any interruption by a higher scale of connections coming onto your platform. We work backwards with you. How do we achieve this scale? This is picked up in the planning stage. We identify risks, plan for mitigation, and document the plan to be able to run the event. Talking about having service quotas in place, doing architectural reviews with your teams, helping identify and address the bottlenecks, expand into additional AZs or regions. On the day of the event, you confidently run your workload with AWS Expert by your side. Post-event, we help you analyze the results to be able to focus on planning the next event. The key here is operations at scale. With AWS m &E, you can select the right service for your live stream workload and make them successful using IEMs. Let's not wait any further. Log into the console, use one of the many m &E blogs with solution, and get live streaming with AWS. You can check these links to learn more about Edge services. Also, there are training courses and certifications to help you improve cloud skills. We value your feedback. Please complete the session survey. Thank you for watching.